Good afternoon. How are we doing? Saturday afternoon, just after lunchtime, and I've got the house to myself. The wife's away shopping, so I need to have a shave. So, soap for today. Mitchell's wool fat. Eighteen ninety three formula prepared with lanolin, soothes, softens, and smooths from Yorkshire, from Bradford in Yorkshire. That's the puck there, and it's a little ceramic dish. As you can see, it's quite a, it's a hard soap brush, smog, ball brush eight thirty. I really want to like this brush, but I don't. Never had a good lather with it yet, so we'll see how it gets on today. The blade for today is a Derby single edge, and the razor for today is a single edge razor. It is the Rocknell SEP. In essence, it's a two piece razor handle, which is roughly three and three eighth inches long, solid stainless, and the head. And the head obviously stretches by that. That has no control, that screw bolt has no control over the head. You can see on the side there, there's a On the side where the gap is, there's a curve. The blade is inserted into there and it's held in the head purely by the curvature of the cut, like so. So we'll take the blade. If any of you watch Steve the Taylor Shaver, uh, an Australian lad, it's quite good, quite like Steve, just his sense of humour. He described this as the most dangerous race in the world. So basically you just line the blade up with the slots, like so. And that there is the blade inserted. As you can see, you've got two huge tabs. It's quite a narrow head. You can either shave like that and be very careful, or you can snap them and bend them off. Just snap them over and bend them off. And this is the last use of this blade. It's only had half a shave before with. So there's the blade inserted into the head, into the gap there, and the only thing that's holding it is just the curvature of the cut. If I need to make any adjustments to the blade I use the little snapped off bits. Or just the side of another blade, just push in the blade gap and just Make sure it is fully inserted, like so. So there we go. I'm happy with that. Yeah, blade gaps even. No overhang, as you can see. As you say, compared to a normal, it's actually wider. The head's narrower than a DE blade. Just one of the things Rocknell came up with. Crazy Turks. I've had this brush soaking for a wee while. The reason I say it, I want to like it, but I don't. It's never created me a good lather. Never, ever have I have had a good lather with this. So that's it soaked. I'm going to give it a squeeze. That's everything out of it. Right.
my technique with bull fat is generally and roughly 30 seconds on the puck, 30 seconds on the face, 30 seconds back on the puck, and then 30 seconds back on the face, three times basically. So it's quite a, a long process. To get wolf fat to work. So there's the first load, so we'll get this lot painted up. I said, well, I've never had a good lather, but it just seems to eat lather. Uh, it's one of my teal bar brushes, and it just seems to eat. I don't know what it does with it. And you have a shave now as it goes, I fancy some soap for breakfast and it just scoffs it. And there's not a lot left in there, so I'm just going to dip the tips of the brush and we'll go back to the puck. Talk among yourselves for a minute and I'll be a while making this lather, I think. Obviously, I don't use a timer. I mean, I, I just, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off all the surplus from here and apply it to the face. This time on the second pass, on the second visit to the to the tub, I've got a load in here. All I'm doing at this moment in time is just working it on. Uh, this method, I got this method off, so I found this method on YouTube, uh, off my ball, I was it this way, basically just 30 seconds. Was it Shave Buster? I can't remember who it was, it might have been Shave Buster, I think he said he did 30 seconds when his channel was going. He basically did three 30 seconds lots. Never had any problems with it. Just going to dip the tips again. Wool fat is a very thirsty soap. Uh, it does like a drink of water because of the vanillin, shapes of vanillin in it. There's no real scent, it just smells clean and soapy. Uh, but afterwards, your skin feels really nice after using wool fat. But it's quite a taste, some people can't have it. Uh, I'm lucky I've got very soft water and since I found this method, I've used this method where it, it's worked every time. It's just a bit longer than, than others. I'm hoping this time this brush won't eat all my lather. So we've got a fair amount back in the tub again, just going to take that off the face, as you can see it's airy at this moment in time because it needs a drink. It's airy, floppy, it looks like it's dissipating and horrible. There's no thickness to it, no body. Right. Giving the brush a good dunk. And again.
this ball brush really makes you work for your money to get a lather up compared to a synthetic it's so much harder uh, you've had the choice between one of my synthetics and this this will be gone it's just I've only got two ball brushes and I'm not going to buy any more I've got this one and I've got a another one sitting down there and but that one's totally different that one just doesn't drink lather That one's a Zenith from Italy as opposed to this from Portugal. Still airy. How was your weekend going? My plans for this afternoon basically consist of shave, coffee, fat backside on the couch, watching rugby. I'll probably be flicking between the two games, but I can see me watching mainly the England South Africa game. Okay. So I've got things there, I've got a shed load of lather. And we've got a pretty good amount on the face. So in total, this razor weighs 140 grams, so it's not light. So you don't need any pressure, just purely put the, head, the weight of the head onto the skin, pull the blade over the bristles and it will, it will shave you. I call this Thor's hammer. No Thor from the Marvel comics or DC comics, whichever one it was, <coughs> the hammer he had. <coughs> I've never looked to put a, any pictures up around the house, this is ideal. Stop sneeze, oh almost, right. Now obviously with this being a single edge razor that takes D blades. You can either buy single D blades, the pre snap ones, like this one, or just snap your own and use them. Uh, the only problem you might have is taking the blade out of the razor between shaves and getting it back in. But you could just like say one shaving bin. But you can hear yourself, there's plenty of audible feedback from the razor and the blade. But it's certainly not a, a razor that you want to go hard with.
Adam's apple, a bit less one there. Two options, either pull the skin to one side, like that, and shave it, or swallow, i.e. take a gulp. And you can see that when you go up and hold your breath, the Adam's apple retracts and it straightens, take it through the lump, so you can just basically shave over it. Ooh, fat. Can't complain about the slickness of from it. I said there's no scent as such. It just smells clean and of soap. It's not a great deal of. For the first pass, I'm quite happy with that. And for once, this brush. Hasn't it? I will either. I think it may be one of those brushes that you've got to load really heavy. Which I don't mind. I'd rather have too much soap until at the end of the day. Soap in the big seam of things is actually pretty cheap for what we get. Uh, 15 quid, 15 dollars for a tub of soap, and you'll get what? 75, 100 shaves out of it. You can't really complain at that. Unless you're from Yorkshire. I well, upset the Americans last time I thought, oh, because I'm not a type of Yorkshireman, I really buy a gum, empty thump. The last fellow was from Yorkshire. She's back there now, I think. Again, absolutely zero pressure. This thing is so heavy. It's probably the heaviest blazer I own, given the size of the head. It's uh, shall we say, solidly made.
two passes done and that is actually a really good shave. The only thing I've got left is some just against the grain down here, really. A little bit up there, not much. See what I mean? The lava's just it's gone. And the brush has just decided to swallow it. I'm going to third pass and I don't really need it all because I've got enough on the skin already, enough residual thickness and everything else, but why do you eat my soap? There we have it ladies and gents, one final shave. Again I can still do pickups. I'm not going to chase baby BBS. Don't need to, don't want to, don't need the irritation it can cause. I'd much rather just have a comfortable shave. In an hour's time, be oh, that stings, that's sore, that's really sore. Okay, that's that single leg shave done with the Rocknell SAP. So, I'm just gonna have it. Some cold Scottish water, as opposed to some other viewers who have been using cold Welsh water. This is Scottish water. Okay. block or remains of wet face
there's not much feedback here. Not much at all actually. Here we go. Okay. So there's a quick continuance with the rock now. What I'm going to do, I've got a pair of tweezers and I've got the head. I'm basically just going to put the tweezers on the side of the head and push. There we go, there's the blade out. Obviously, because there's no tabs, it'll be quite hard to actually get the blade out. But you could actually get it back in, in the same manner, if you didn't want to leave the blade in. Just looking, see if we can actually get the blade back in. Yeah, we can. So there we go. There's the blade reinserted. And obviously you could just... So you could actually take the blade out and maybe get a couple of shares out of it. However, this one is going in the bin. It's done its job. I almost had time to work. I'll wash the salt off with cold water. A quick pat down over the face. Yeah, good shave, nice shave. Not the easiest way to use. Uh, if you're a, a big single edge fan who likes using double edge blades. It may well be worthwhile putting in your list if you're in the market for one. And we're going to finish off with some simple aftershave balm, which has been mixed with uh, botany. Argonel, it's mixed with that. Just so. If it was gone, we'll take it with that. But hey, it's almost Black Friday, there's something in the sale. You can probably tell I'm not partaking in November in any way, shape, or form. I didn't consider it. And if I did, it would be a, a goatee. Mm. But no, I'm not going to bother, not this year. So unfortunately I shall be staying clean shaven for the remainder of the month, on certain days anyway. And uh, we should take things from there. So a quick recap of what we used today. Mitchell's Wolfat shaving soap. My love hate brush. I like to love it, but I don't really. Small gate 30 ball brush. The blade for today was a Derby Professional single edge barbershop blade, which was used in. The Rocknell Single Edge Razor SEP. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, I shall see you next year. Bye for now.